So guys, for the first step, you want to make sure that Steam is fully closed. Now to do that, in the bottom right of your taskbar, you want to click on the arrow. Now, you want to find Steam, you want to right click on it, and then click on Exit Steam. This will now fully shut down Steam. And now for the second step, you want to head over to Search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to go to your Steam installation folder. For me, it's on my Windows Drive, it has the Windows logo on it. Now I'm going to go to Program Files x86. Now I'm going to scroll down until I find Steam. I'm going to double click on that. And now you should be having a folder called App Cache. You want to double click on it. You want to delete everything in this folder. So just highlight this and then click on Delete. And now for the next step, you want to head over to Search and type in Steam. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on Yes, which will now open up Steam again. And then once you're on Steam, you want to find the game that you're having a problem with. You want to right click on it and then click on Properties and then click on Installed Files. Now you want to click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Wait for this to load. And then once that's been done, we're now going to close out of this. And you can now launch your game and then the problem should be fixed. If the problem is still not fixed for some reason, then for the second method, you want to right click on your game and then click on Manage and then click on Uninstall. Now you want to uninstall your game. After you uninstall your game, you just want to reinstall it again and then this should not fix your problem. 